Hello and welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau. This week we had to take a break from renovations of the bed and breakfast room because we had a catastrophic storm that took part of our roof off. Bonjour tout le monde, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Cologne. Uh, nun zu unseren deutschsprachigen Freunden. Uh, diese Woche mussten wir aufhören im uh, Bed and Breakfast Room zu arbeiten, denn uh, ein Teil von unserem uh, Dach ist in diesem katastrophalen Sturm weggeweht. Right, so uh, as, as you know, we're continuing our work in our uh, bed and breakfast room and uh, it's preparing the walls the for the wallpaper and the painting. Yes. And Patrick continued again the, this week <laughs> with wood filling and plastering and sanding. Uh, God give me strength. Right. Patience actually, patience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, you know, uh, you know, We've had some really, really bad weather. Well, I mean, it, as was in England, in Denmark, uh, right. I think most of uh, Europe. Uh, oh, Brittany had right. had horrible. I mean, it was all the same storm system, currently. Right. And uh, at some point before we went up, part of our dormer roof flew off, um, and that is twenty-seven feet up, I think. So it's nothing you can just put a little ladder on. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> And, uh, however, so there was progress uh, in the bed and breakfast room, but before we talk about that, um, we just wanted to say a, a really heartfelt thank you to the outpouring of, um, you know, because of, of Colin's death, I mean, the, there were poems that were just beautiful. Uh, the, the beautiful comments, yes. So um, we, we looked at them all, we haven't replied to them all, because we can't, <laughs> as of yet, but we'll get there. Right. So um, thank you so much. And um, that gave us a lot of strength. So here we are continuing work on the bed and breakfast room. Right. And I, I honestly can say I have not expected to use this much acrylic and wood, <laughs> wood filler. Uh, I think we had four kilos of wood filler and we don't have pa wood paneling all the way up. So this is partial paneling. Uh, but we are definitely getting there uh, by the end of this week. We will have everything primed. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that, yes. that, that, what yes. he just said. <laughs> have a look.
I know this. So this is how an 18th century door looks from above. And I just realized there are these thick pieces of plaster up here. So I've just hammered them off. Not all of them. But, uh, so, it's always something, isn't there? It's interesting, though, isn't it? Hoppa! Yeah, there's a flying around there. Ah. Okay, so what I find really, really interesting uh, is how deep these uh, pieces of wood are, the cornices here. It's, it's really, really pretty. Um, and so now I'm gonna fix that and sand that. But what I wanted to show you is something else. I would like to show you real quick uh, what we've did so far. So this, is, this was really bad. This was where the uh, wood pieces went, the trunking, uh, where the wires were in. And so this already has been plastered once, sanded once. Has to be, of course, plastered again with a uh, final, final coat, final coat, hopefully. But it is, um, there are, where there were huge gaps and big, thick areas uh, where it was pretty bad. And um, it's now coming to the point where, and I apologize, you know, my camera work is never great, so. Uh, Stuart is busy with something else, so otherwise he would do this, of course. But, so all these areas here, where I had large uh, areas that I needed to address, now I only have detail work to do, one more sanding tomorrow, and we can go uh, and put a, a coat on of um, paint um, to prep it for the wallpaper. I'm very excited. Thank you. 
happy Sunday afternoon, uh, or almost evening. It has been now nine days of almost constant rain. So right now we have a little break, so we have to get the dogs out when we can. Um, I'm standing in front of, uh, well, in the bed and breakfast salon, the first the 12 de Juillet Jalon, Salon, Jalon, Salon, or the 12 de Stui. And um, so as you can see, this is ready. This is has a wood filler on it. Uh, the plaster has been repaired uh, and sanded. There was three coats of plaster, three times of sanding. Um, the woodwork, the boiserie, twice. Um, it's really quite nice when you look at this. It's very, very smooth when you go over it. But we did not, just to repeat that, we do not want this to look like it was just produced. It is old, it has cracks, it has, it's uneven. So that's why we're going to use this as is after the big cracks are um, filled and sanded and smoothed out, so we don't want to have when we see the outside walls. But the, the the woodwork, this is not Versailles. This does not need to be perfect. Um, and I think for for us, truly, it is adding to the charm of where we are that it is not looking new because that is, I think, one of the things a lot of people um, or some people really get very very wrong when they renovate a chateau they paint walls just flat one color um and i said that before but it looks like a, an apartment in london in new york in chicago in hamburg or berlin amsterdam wherever you look it's just too modern so stay true to um we will stay true to what we know was appropriate for the time period of the chateau and we will still give it a bit of a modern touch and of course we're not going back into the 17th century so there is electricity there is plumbing and there's central heating in any case thank you uh so much for sticking with us i know this is a bit tedious and it's a bit long trust me if you find this annoying or too long so do we thanks <laughs> bye Wonderful good morning from the Chateau de Colombe. We have like half of Europe horrible storms. And up there that dormer, which I just visited. Uh, half of the roof was torn off. Zinc. Uh, so this ladder is pretty tall. It's not tall enough to work on it. So we don't know how we're going to fix this temporarily. Because this storm is going to go on for another couple of days um right now it's not raining we had torrential rains so it's not a good situation uh well we're gonna try to come up with some kind of a solution
So our scaffolding was actually at Tony and Jane's place. Uh, and so I had to pick it up. And Tony said, I, I'm, I, we're, I'm coming with you. We're doing this. Uh, and it was, it was a three man job. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, yeah. so all the way up there, thank God. No, none of us has fear of heights. And it was, it, I mean, it really went incredibly fast. What could have been a really quite disastrous situation because the, the water would gush into our bedroom. Uh, all has been averted. Right. And, and fantastic that, you know, we were able to get help from Tony and basically resolve the whole issue in two hours right <laughs> yeah. <That's amazing. laughs> i mean and, and that's what you know again that's one of those things here in france that you know because you're you need to be self-sufficient or have friends who can help because if you have to rely on you know getting you know hiring somebody to do this to help you you're going to be waiting a long time to do it yes. so so we're very fortunate that we have uh, tony and jane yes Thanks, Tony. Yes. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, just as a one side note that uh, I want to show because it was just a funny thing that happened during that was, is that uh, when Tony had got to the top of the scaffolding, <laughs> he couldn't find, he had missed, well, he had, he knew that they had, his glasses had fallen. He was missing his glasses, right? So they had fallen off and he knew that they had fallen off. And so, you know, Patrick was going to, to bring them up to him. And so we're looking around, and his glasses were nowhere to be found. Well, the three of us were going through uh, <laughs> from <laughs> <all the> plants, <laughs> ripping up things, trying to find his glasses, and we couldn't find them anywhere. And so uh, the funny thing was is that, so I, w I gave him a pair of my glasses to use. And so the funny thing was is that uh, a few minutes after we've been up there, you were at the base of the scaffolding about to come up. And what did you see? I just looked up, and it, in the sun, it was hit. It was actually stuck on the scaffolding. Yes. Yeah, so they had fallen and actually stuck on the scaffolding, and they were sort of swinging there on it the scaffolding. Lovely. So it couldn't have tried to do that, you know. As Shakespeare said, "All's well that ends well." Right. On that note. Right. So uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, if you like, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, recommend us to your friends and family. Share if you can. Yes, and please subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. And if you want to support the renovation of the chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. And we will see you on Friday. We appreciate watching. Thank you. Au revoir. Wiedersehen. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.